Have you ever noticed that there are two different kinds of plugs in your home? One of them has some buttons on it, and the other one doesn't. The plug with the buttons on it is actually a very special type of plug called a GFCI. GFCI stands for Ground Fault Circuit Interrupter. You're probably wondering what that means. Let me give you an example. Okay, so here's a sink, and it's on. Alright, and it's early on a Saturday morning, and you just got up and you want to make some toast. So you get your toaster out here, you go ahead and plug it in. You find some bread, you put it in and start the toaster. All right, and then you get distracted, but then you wanna go and check on your toast. So you come over, but accidentally knock the toaster into the sink. And remember, our sink is still on. So you go to pick it up and boom, at that point right there, you would be electrocuted if this weren't a GFCI. So what the GFCI does is if it detects an interruption in the circuit, then it will automatically cut power to the toaster before there's enough time allowed for you to be injured. The GFCI will also cut power to any other plug on its circuit. So if there's ever any interruption in the current the GFCI is protecting, such as a heat lamp falling into a sink full of water, then it will kill the power going to the lamp. The GFCI can cut power to any device plugged into it in as little time as 1 30th of a second. This all happens before there's enough time allowed to give someone a dangerous shock. Earlier I mentioned that the GFCI will also cut power to any other plug on its circuit. Let's see how that works. Alright everybody, so today I'm going to be demonstrating the GFCI right here cutting the power to this plug right here even though this plug isn't a GFCI. So how this works is this GFCI and this plug are both on the exact same circuit. So if this GFCI were ever to trip, it would also cut the power to that plug too. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be plugging this voltage tester into this plug right here. And then I'm going to be going over here and testing this GFCI. Now this voltage tester, when it detects AC voltage, there's a little light on here that turns red and then a little alarm that will sound. And then when I test this GFCI right here, the red light and then the alarm on this should turn off. So let's see how this works. So this right here is the plug and I'm going to go ahead and turn this tool on and plug it into the plug. And when I do that, you will hear an alarm sound. Okay, it sounds like that. And you see the little light on it, it turns red. And then I'm going to go right over there to that GFCI and then I will test it and we should see the alarm turn off. So let's do this. All right, and three, two, one. All right, so as we can see right here, the alarm has shut off and then the light on it has turned green. This means that there is no longer power going to this plug right here. So this GFCI tripped and then this plug shut off. This works because both these plugs are on the same circuit. Now let's turn the GFCI back on and see what happens. So I just turned the GFCI back on right here, and then the alarm turned on, and then the light turned red again. So bottom line with this demonstration, any plug that is connected to the GFCI circuit will shut off if the GFCI is activated. How do I reset the GFCI if it activates, you may ask? This can simply be done by pressing the reset button on the unit. Then the plug should return back to normal condition. GFCIs should be tested at least monthly. You can do this by plugging in a nightlight or something of that nature into it, then pressing the test button. Finally, to finish the test, press the reset button and the plug circuit should return to normal condition. Stay tuned for a video where I test every GFCI I can in my house. Alright, that's the video. I hope you learned something. Thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and have a nice day.